hello hi everyone so in this video we are going to learn how to draw cycloid by using autocad software so first you need to enter units u n i u n i t s enter you find a box as you know decimals select decimals and precision as 0 comma 0 and enter so after that you need to enter limits l i m i t s limits enter lower left corner as usually it is 0 and 0 and upper right corner 420 and 297 and after that zoom z enter a enter right now we have to zoom the question so this is our question draw a curve for one complete revolution of a circle having 50 mm diameter also draw a tangent and normal to the curve at a point 40 mm from the base name the curve so you have to name that curve first we need to draw the curve as well as you have to name it so it is a cycloid why are uh, how you are saying it is a cycloid means the circle is rolling along the straight line path if a circle is rolling along the straight line path that point is traced by that point is called cycloid right the path traced by a point on the circumference of the circle is known as cycloid so he has given the diameter of the circle is 50 mm take a circle command and click anywhere on the screen that is the first center point center point for the circle starting point of the circle then give the radius i am taking radius here he has given diameter in the question but i am taking radius 25 enter so you will get a circle right so after that divide the circle into some 8 or 12 number of equal parts so i am uh, dividing this circle into 8 number of equal parts so for that first you need to draw a line l enter move the cursor onto the circle you will find center point and click on the center from that center draw a quadrant enter now in order to divide the circle into 12 number of or 8 number of equal parts i am using one command called array a r a r enter a r enter then it will ask uh, select the object then you need to select this line not the circle you need to select this line enter it will ask select the type of array say uh, rectangle path polar so in that three select polar it will ask center point of the array so obviously circle center is a center point then the circle is divided into six number of equal parts so we have to divide that into how many parts eight number of equal parts change here eight enter then the circle will divide into eight number of equal parts now the circle is moving along a straight line path in one complete revolution in one complete revolution for example i am taking a point here p i am taking a point p here so go to text or, or uh, we'll do later so it is moving in the clockwise direction means the point p is in contact with the ground initial position initially now the next point from p is a one so when it is moving the point one is in contact with the ground again it is moving some uh, angle this third point will in contact with the ground so like that it will moving in the clockwise direction it is moving in the clockwise direction so after one complete revolution it will travel at a distance of its circumference the distance equals to its circumference circumference what is the formula for circumference it is 2 pi r or pi d so where pi and d is the diameter if you calculate, we'll get 157. 157. We'll get 157. The distance traveled by this circle is 157. So from this point, I am drawing a straw long line, straight line at a length of 157. So I'll enter. I am drawing a radial line, tangential line that should be straight at a distance of 157. You need to enter 157 through keyboard enter and uh, perpendicularly vertically you need to draw a height 
equals to diameter of the circle that is 50 enter and close it you need to join that to top point of the circle escape now we have divided the circle into eight number of equal parts and likewise we need to divide this base this is the base for this this is the base this line also into same number of equal parts we have divided circle into eight parts so we have to divide this also into eight number of equal parts so there is a command called div enter select the object to divide select this one and enter number of segments enter eight enter so we have divided this into eight number of equal parts now i am going to text command moving on to text command single text and it will ask the start point of the text this is the start point of the text and text height is 3 enter rotation angle rotation angle always 0 0 0 enter now give the text so here the initial point is p i am taking that as p this point is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is 8 similarly this is 1 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash and last 8 dash and it is also p this point is p and last intersecting point is a i'm calling it as a escape enter escape enter escape so, so this is touching point both p and a are grounded points next next point grounded point is one this is a one point you should contact with the ground wherever it will uh, ground it wherever it touches the ground i'm calling it as one dash next point is two dash so like it is moving in the clockwise direction means the all the points are grounded at any instant of time right uh, now through all these points one two three four five six seven eight uh, i have drawn one horizontal line through eight in similar manner we have to draw i have to draw all the lines through all the points like uh, through eight i have drawn a line of length 157 in the similar manner i have to draw same horizontal lines through each and every points for that l enter um, starting from here and this point this line should pass us to the point one then only it will it is correct escape and space now i want to use same command so in order to use the same command repeatedly press on space bar or you can press on enter button so that the command will repeat right this line also called as this line this line is passing to the center that's why this line is also called as locus of center line locus of center and enter next line is here and that should pass us to the point three and wherever it touch this vertical line call it as end the point line and uh, through one dash two dash three dash four dash up to eight dash draw the perpendicular lines up to this central line up to this central line for that i'm using line command through one dash draw a perpendicular line wherever it meets uh, center line stop drawing escape now i want to draw similar type of lines through two dash three dash four dash five dash fifth dash seven dash and eight dash so this is very lengthy process so in order to minimize my time i i'm going to use copy command c o c o command just it will ask select the object select this line and enter specify base point base point is one one is the base point next move 
wherever you want just paste it just click over two dash next three dash next four dash wherever you want a line just click over there you will get a line right escape now go to text single text specify click over here three height to this angle zero so this point is called center i am calling it as c and one dash line will intersect the locus of the center at one at one point i am calling it as c1 this is c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 and c8 c8 okay enter escape now this circle is initial point of the circle is here the center is here now it is moving in the clockwise direction means at a certain particular time the center of the circle position changes from c to c1 now what about its center what about its circle position means center is changing from c to c1 means we have to draw this circle with the center of c1 okay circle go to circle c1 center radius equals to 25 enter so this is the second instead of position second position of the circle this is the first position so after revolving the position of the circle is like this so wherever the circle will intersect with the first line locate a point wherever this circle second circle and first line line this is the first line this is the first line intersecting locate a point over there po enter in order to locate a point po is a command po enter so this is the intersection point locate a point similarly click on circle change its center from c1 to next position is c2 just move move the circle so wherever this circle intersect the second line this is the second line if this is the first line first horizontal line next this is the second horizontal line wherever it intersect with the second horizontal line give a point select the circle move the circle center from c2 to c3 wherever it intersect with the third line so this is the intersection point so we have we are using a point command repeatedly so in that case don't use again po don't type po just you have to press on space bar or enter button so that it will uh, automatically it will enable the previously used command so i'm using space bar now point command is enabled now select this circle change its center from c3 to c4 it is touching over here use po command or space bar get a point move c4 to c5 <coughs> space bar it is intersecting over here so get a point here to here this is the intersection point this to this to c6 to c7 intersecting here space next here to here this is the intersection point now after locating all the points you need to uh, delete this circle right and use spl command spl spline spl and uh, select specify start point first point so p is the starting point and a is the ending point click over p point next point is p1 this is p2 p3 join all the points in sequence don't uh, leave any point in sequence you have to join and also center center of the point you need to join center of the point so end 
so after getting a smooth curve you need to press on enter button enter so this is about uh, curve draw a curve means this is the answer for that and next one is draw a, also draw a normal and tangent uh, to the curve at a point of 40 mm from the base so this is the baseline so we have to draw a normal and tangent at a distance of 40 mm from this base so you need to offset the distance so for that o is the command offset enter so select the distance that is give that as 40 mm enter and select the objects to offset this base is the offset object so after clicking on the baseline you'll find a line at a distance of 40 just click so this is a this is the line and this is the point where we need to draw the normal and tangent where this line and the curve cyclical curve intersecting each other so that is the point where we need to draw the normal and tangent so locate a point over there escape po enter so locate the point here i'm indicating with different color so that it will easily identify it will easily differentiate only for the differentiation purpose i'm using different color now this is a point where we need to draw the normal and tangent use this point as the center point use that as the center construct one circle with the radius of 25 mm so c or circle click on circle so use this as a center now 25 mm as the radius construct one circle this circle will intersect the locus of the central line at this point locate a point over there po enter right through this point through this point draw the perpendicular line l enter draw the perpendicular line up to base it touches the base here now join this point with this point and draw the extend that line the same direction you need to extend this is normal delete this circle no need of uh, circle here delete that delete that now we want to rotate this line at an angle of at an angle of 90 degrees then we will get tangent so for that ro is the command ro select objects here two objects if whenever i move the cursor onto this line if the total line be selected it is fine if not then click two times select the objects two times enter uh, specify base point this is a base where we need to draw the normal and tangent so the source object is deleting here so i want to copy that copy and give angle as 90 degrees enter so this is a tangent now you can look at the points go to text single text and here you need to mention p1 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 p2 p3 p4 so there is no space p4 p5 so here tangential line so i am indicating with different uh, that is x x is the point where we need to draw the normal tangent here it is p6 p six p seven and last point is p eight p eight so this is the x and here this point is called l and it touches the ground here i am calling it as m and this point is n and this i am giving the the names to tangent is t t dash this is t and this is t dash 
so like that you have to label the points enter escape now i want to uh, highlight the things so in the question he has given draw the curve so that means you have to extend you have to darken the curve as well as and also draw the normal and tangent so three of these normal and tangent and curve should be dark so for that i'm using one command that is called pe p edit polyline edit select polyline or multiple so i am i have a three objects to highlight so i'm that's why i'm clicking on multiple multiple then select curve tangent and normal normal two times you have to select and for tangent also two times select then enter it will ask uh, convert lines polylines into spline splines into polylines yes enter conversion is uh, precision is 10 enter after that it will ask uh, which parameter you want to change obviously it is width what happened sorry once again i will do pe enter multiple click on uh, the object that means curve normal tangent two times this line and this line and enter width new width is one enter so this is the procedure how to draw a cycloid after that you need to give the dimensions also I go to linear i want to select escape go to linear and starting point is P ending point is A it is 157 and also diameter through P for the diameter is 50 now I want to write the name also go to text single text text height as 6 give the text height as 6 enter rotation of angle 0 enter give the name c y c l o i d cyclide enter escape so this is the process how to draw a cyclide by using software autocad software so thank you thank you very much thank you all of you